So today we are having the 17th uh, nation coming in part of our celebrations. It is none other than um, Qatar, um, who yet to appreciate uh, homeopathy as an official recognized system of medicine. But there are a lot of homeopathic doctors uh, there in Qatar and they are representing and presenting the present situation and uh, uh, also doing everything possible in their capacity to bring this wonderful system of medicine for the welfare of and benefit of people living in Qatar. So um, I directly go to Dr. Remya, uh, who will... Um, uh, Dr. Rabida Salam, okay. Um, and the team uh, who will be moderating uh, from Qatar. Over to you, the team Qatar. Please unmute. A very good evening to one and all. Welcome to the 17th day curtain raiser program of the 1000 day celebration of IFPH meeting. App Dr. Ramya is here to welcome you all to this program on behalf of Qatar. It gives me an immense pleasure to start this occasion by welcoming everyone. I heartily welcome our guest of honor, Mr. E.P. Abdurrahman, Mr. Ashraf K.P., Mr. Hussein Abdu, and our speakers, Dr. Ismail Sir, Dr. Zubeda Salam, Dr. Abida Salam, Dr. Preeti Kamal, and Mr. P.V. Abdu Salam Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Vanandor. Over to you, Dr. Abida Salam. Thank you, Dr. Ramya, for your welcome speech. Next, we have Dr. Zubaida Salam. Uh, so we are inviting Dr. Zubaida Salam. She's a, she was a retired reader at Government Homeopathic Medical College, Kodikot, for a presidential address. She is the senior most resident member of our Qatar Homeopaths group. And also, she had sincerely tried a lot for introducing homeopathy in Qatar from the very last, very early years. Although she's unwell now due to an unexpected fall yesterday, she has managed to send a voice recording for sharing her words. Let us include her in our prayers for a speedy recovery. And I shall play the recording now. Please wait. Let me just take the recording. Good evening, Assalamu Alaikum, peace be upon everyone. It is great pleasure to be a part of 1000th day celebration of IFPH on behalf of Qatar. Presence of my beloved teacher and president of IFPH, Dr. Ismail Said, has made this occasion more grateful to us. I was in Qatar for a quite long period since 1992 after entering leave from government service in Kerala as my family was here. Only allopathic system of medicine was allowed to practice in Qatar. Qualified homeopathic doctors were very less at that time, but now a lot. I was trying to introduce this system of medicine to the authorities since 1992 through all the possible ways. Even Dr. Ismail said, sir, also tried to convince the efficacy of homeopathy to the authorities. Anyhow, after a long period, it's a pleasure that some positive movements have occurred regarding the alternative system of medicine to be implemented in Qatar, but not at practically available as the pharmaceuticals issues still remaining. With a great expectation that 
all the obstacles for starting homeopathy in Kolkata will be resolved soon and this healing system will be available for the mankind of Qatar within a short period. I wish all IFPH members and followers as this organization has brought the world under one umbrella for the course of homeopathy. Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Zubaida, for finding time to address us even during your difficult time. So next, I invite our guest of honor, Mr. E.P. Abdurrahman, President of Indian Sports Center, Qatar, and Chairman of Care and Cure Group, Care and Cure Group of Companies for sharing his words. So please. Thank you. Uh, my name is Zipi Abdurrahman. I'm a pharmacist by profession, and uh, I'm representing the modern medicine. So when I'm invited to speak on a homeopathic platform, I will be wondering uh, why me? Then of course, I realize after all, we all address the same thing, the pain of the one who is suffering. So whether it is modern medicine or any alternative medicine, we all address the same human being and anything and everything which addresses human beings, it is very important. I have uh, homeopathic doctors in my family. I myself have uh, used homeopathic medication for myself and my, uh, my kids. And I have... Uh, benefited from the, uh, the efficacy of homeopathic medicine. So I believe in homeopathic medicine. So I'm sure there is a space and scope for homeopathy and homeopathic medications in Qatar too, which the population, the people of Qatar actually deserve. So it's been, uh, it's been quite a long time. People, a lot of people, including Dr. Uh, uh, Sveda working hard to get this uh, approved uh, uh, in, in Qatar. But unfortunately, uh, the authorities doesn't have uh, any, any know-how about this medication. And they were, even though in theory, theoretically, they approved this, uh, uh, this mode of uh, treatment, but they were not really being able to bring or set some standards to evaluate the doctors as well as the medications. This is what I understand. But of course, uh, better late than never. Uh, so things are happening and I'm so uh, glad to hear from Dr. Subeda that uh, things are on the positive side. So we wish uh, uh, the people the best as uh, they are going to get one more alternative for uh, their worries and uh, I mean uh, concerns. And I'm sure a lot of practicing doctors or non-practicing homeopathic doctors getting a chance to practice homeopathy here in Qatar. So we, the modern medicine pharma sector is looking forward to associate with you all so that we can support the uh, population, the people of Qatar in a better manner. All the best to all of you. Thank you very much. Over to you. Thank you, sir, for your very supportive and ever encouraging words. Feeling so happy about it. And thanks for finding such a, uh, this much time sparing with us, with your busy schedule is, you know, quite commendable. Thanks a lot, sir. I appreciate it a lot. All the participants here, you know, Dr. Ismail said, sir, he doesn't need an introduction, I guess. But still, I would like to add that, sir, uh, he is obviously the president of IFPH. Plus, I also like to add that he has been a part of Homeopaths Qatar group from a very long time. And he has even visited Qatar years back, you know, for meeting with the officials here in Qatar. So, over again, again, to again I'm coming. <laughs> okay, inshallah, <laughs> we are waiting for you, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you can take over and you can 
do the actually the program has started but still you can do the inauguration <laughs> you can go on with your speech very very sorry and even then i am very no happy to meet you all and i am i was tell the uh, between the speech you know i tell something about the omipuri and thing about the my experience anyway with the artist happiness i am inaugurating the program for the qatar people thank you very much and and the more you, you are for me of course you could share your uh, yes. when you came to qatar all those you could yeah. share yeah, you have time there. yeah we have a lot of time for you learned it as of now we are grown up like that all over the world it is spread and now we have got the uh, membership of the more than 25 countries all over the world anyway now the people are very embracing very much happy with the iiph he said yesterday we we started this one even then it was promoted to homeopathy since last um nearly in 1000 days is here without any break for single day we are going to celebrate the our 1000 uh, day celebration on the uh, 1st of june even then the, our target is coming 28th of this month so <coughs> next month we are completing the 1000 days program and we are celebrating the 1000 day because of the uh, convening of the uh, governor and other ministers we are, uh, we are making inauguration we are making the uh, celebrating the 1000 day on 1st june that was 103 1003 days 1000 plus 3 say <coughs> you are all um uh, engage homeopathy because nowadays uh, the, you know the medical science is very much uh, in pure in pure and uh, they are not giving much uh, facility to the uh, sufferings sufferings uh, like uh, children and women and uh, any any chronic diseases like that but we have much hope much hope than anybody in the in the, in the other system from ayurveda and the allopathy than unani or siddha or are uh, actually during the because of the, uh, the because of the uh, specialty because the uh, efficiency there are down to us we are up that the one thing i'm uh, going to be demanding you all the cancer patients are coming to us within one or two days they are taking years of the pain killers and uh, making trouble to the like kidney and more liver more and like that but after coming to homeopathy doctors within one or two days the pain was relieving the medicines that you know what the medicine that one mainly we are using calcarea carbonica 30 calcarea carbonica 30 is relieving the pain cancer pain more than 85 day, 85 percent of the patients and uh, he suppose it is not active well maybe find out some uh, uh, the, uh, symptoms we can uh, you can find out the um, um, cannabis indica u4 bm 3x cannabis indica 30 and calcarea of 30 and carandula 200 the other common medicines to controlling the pain of the cancer most of them it will relieving with the calcarea cap 30 only that's a fancy of our homeopathy and even then we can we can cut short the um, progressing of the cancer patients cut short the pain now i have developed one medicine i have given the name ca cure that i am giving it 10 drops straight daily any any cancer advanced cases that come to me they they the cut short cut short the difficulty they got the more relief and the living more day than any without any complication without any um adjunct syndrome syndrome it's a thing is going on every day i'm seeing my experience i want practice or more more of the 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 doctors are attending here they know me very well more the practice about the homeopathy everything but uh, Everyone having this this DNT uh, symptoms. Everyone should have the the efficiency of the homeopathy, but they should read read homeopathy material medical every day. And minute by minute symptoms, if we differentiate and find out the 
efficiency of the home here. That's all. Thank you, sir, for joining okay. with us. Thanks a lot for sparing your time for us. Thank you. Now, next, we were about to play the video which was recorded and sent for us by Mr. Ashraf KP. So he is on a business trip, actually. So that's why he has sent his video recording. I'll play the video so that his message can be, can be shared here with you all. Greeting to all. On behalf of myself and WellCare Group, I extend my heartfelt greetings to the representative and members of the International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy for achieving this honorable feat of spreading the power and practice of homeopathy, the seminar has addressed primary issues at hand of spreading awareness and including the mind of the community of the need for holistic healing rather than direct action on symptoms. I'm sure the webinar has enlightened the need for healthy living through this holistic approach taking not into account the physical symptoms but also mental and emotional well-being. On the concept of completion of 1000 days through the webinar series on Zoom, I'm also a well-wisher of homeopathy. Salute the members and the representative of this forum for this wonderful accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for finding your time in sending this message for us, for all of us, even during his busy schedule. Now, next, I call upon our next guest of honor, <coughs> Mr. Hussain Abdu, General Secretary of Qatar Indian Authors Forum, for sharing his thoughts with us. Sir, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, respected moderator of this session and our distinguished guests, uh, officials of uh, International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy. A very good evening, I wish you all. On this uh, blessed occasion, I am very much honored to be present with you as a guest of honor in this session, in this wonderful session, which is being held under the title of Millennium on the occasion of the completion of uh, a thousand episode of the series of daily webinars organized by IFPH. In fact, I have been closely associated with this branch of medicine since my early childhood, as I still remember that my father and sometimes my mother used to take me to Dr. Rathman, who was treating in his clinic located on the first floor of an old building in the city or town of Mancheri. And the doctor used to give me some sweet pills and I take them very gladly. Actually, I was uh, enjoying it and recovering from my illness and suffering. My brothers and sisters, I mean, my siblings were also treated by this famous doctor. I resorted to homeopathy not only in my childhood, but even in my youth. Still, I remember that I was uh, suffering from hair loss from a certain rounded part of my head. I went to a doctor in my nearby village and she, she was a lady doctor. She prescribed me a medicine and I quickly recovered from this problem. Whenever I hear the name Germany, the names of some political social and uh, medical figures in that country. Uh, whenever uh, I hear the name of the Germany, the country of Germany, the names of some political and uh, social and uh, medical figures in that country come to my mind, one of whom is the founder of uh, homeopathy medicine. 
when I visited that country, I have been that country, that beautiful country twice. I visited their their beautiful cities like Düsseldorf, Berlin, and uh, Munich. I always thought of this great man who established this great branch of medicine, homeopathy. When I'm, uh, what I'm saying is that the love, my love for this medicine, this branch of medicine, homeopathy, was instilled in me many decades ago. And therefore, I can say it is not out of courtesy, but I can say on the basis of a deep rooted conviction that homeopathy and alternative beneficial, easy and inexpensive treatment. I'm not a medical expert, but maybe very occasionally happened. I have translated two books, one book to two languages, one uh, book, it was ordered in Malayalam language. It was, I translated that book very, in, in, in now, I think before two uh, two weeks, it was published here in Qatar. It was uh, released here in Qatar. Uh, it was a medical book. Uh, maybe this is very occasionally happened. I'm saying I'm not a medical expert, and uh, therefore I do not uh, go to into the details of this medical branch homeopathy, but rather refer to a social aspect of this. There is a well-known principle that alternatives limit monopoly. We know very well in the state of Kerala that private English schools entered the field of education, the conditions of public schools improved. And when private hospitals entered, the conditions of government hospitals improved. If the alternatives did not enter the field, did not enter the market, the traditional institutions would have remained monopolized in their old style without any progress. From this point of view, we can say that the existence of multiple treatment methods and various medical branches in the, is in the interest of humanity as they can choose any branch they like. So let us say, we should encourage this branch homeopathy that millions of people around the world rely on it and that has cured millions of diseases. Myself, uh, one of them, this branch must remain active and must be encouraged by all means. I would like to conclude my words and I express my gratitude towards the organizers of this session and the organizers of the series of previous seminars. And I thank everyone who listened to me. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hussein, sir, for your very enlightening words. Thanks a lot for being with us. Next, I call upon Dr. Shishma, or let me just check if she's available. OK. We'll move on to the next participant. Kindly wait. Okay, we could move on to a small break from these serious stuffs right now. Maybe we can go for the music and entertainment. I hope you have all heard about Nadir Abdus Salam. He's a very famous uh, person here in Qatar. Since his very young age, uh, he is a child prodigy, I guess. I can say like that. Uh, he is right now a music organizer, composer, sorry. He is a music composer as well as a very good singer of Arab music. He is an Arab composer and singer. So I would like to share a few photos of him with the very famous Arab singers. Kindly wait.
this is with matarali and famous singers and i don't know if you can see it okay i think we i can, can see it. okay okay here is here he is uh -huh. i hope you can see with uh, matarali and other singers and another photo which i received i'll share with you please wait I hope you can see this. Can you see the photo? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all those people who love music, especially Arab music, will be very familiar with the person sitting right next to him. That is Muhammad Abdu, Ali Abdul Sattar, and Abu Khaja. They all are very famous singers, very talented singers from before itself. So an opportunity for Nadir to be with them is quite encouraging plus he's an indian he is from kerala basically now i would like to share uh, so the music today we are showcasing of his anyway. Thank you, Nadir, for your unique rendition. Now I would like to play a short video about Qatar, a concise one, so that all those from around the world could just have a watch about a short video from Qatar. As a boy, I asked my father, where does our land end? He said to me, one day you will travel our country and see for yourself. But to know how far it stretches, you will have to use more than just your eyes. You will have to use all of your senses. Only then will you truly know. Wherever you journey, we all look for the same. 
same things. A fleeting moment of natural wonder. A place you've never seen before. An open door that makes your heart beat faster. A landscape that takes your breath away. That makes you stop and marvel. You look for the small details in life. The things unchanged for thousands of years. Or just the sun. The sun on your face. As you journey, you understand that even history has it. of the past. The sounds you hear today might just be the sound of your ancestors. is timeless. That the soul reaches upwards. That we all seek a friendly embrace. You are never a stranger. Just a friend not yet met. That a meal is not a meal unless it's shared. through their eyes, to hear the...
sometimes just stand back and admire. To be taken to another world. Where the boundaries of imagination have been pushed back forever. Sometimes you want to be taken all the way to the top. Yes, sir. What happened? 
is is it not viewable company is muted no company is muted no sound is coming oh it's not coming okay it's not i couldn't now 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 okay now, now it's okay. okay so the video was not uh, being played for five that is about one no one or two minutes Okay, I think then we'll stop the video for now because uh, ah, we can call the next speaker. That's better. That's better. Ah. I think. Uh, My Dr. Javaja is there. Pardon? Dr. Javaja is there from Delhi. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Javaja. Well, welcome to the IAPH. Javaja, okay. Javaja, Dr. Javaja, okay. I'm... Welcome to you in the IAPH forum. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much. Now, now we are conducting the, the IAPH uh, Zoom meeting without any break of single day. It is coming to, going to be celebrated 1000 day celebration by June of 1st. Very nice. And I met you, hardly met you to the uh, Toandrum Higher Regency. If you come, we are very much happy. Yeah, sure. I think I think uh, my secretary was sent some letter for you. Inviting. No problem. Let them contact. I'll be definitely okay. considering. Okay, well, now I'm personally inviting you, sir, on seeing the face and everything. I met you that uh, uh, Joan from Fire Agency. Yeah. Okay. Our our governor Arifa Arif Ali Shah is uh, inaugurating the function. I'm uh, Three, four ministers are there, and from the north, uh, I think some some doctors are coming from the north. You also please come. I'm very much happy with you. You please try. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you. I will do my best uh, once I have the final plan. Uh, and we are going to planning make a New Delhi, Calcutta. And Dubai. Very good. After after the uh, Toronto program, we are conducting what you going to do in New Delhi, Calcutta, then Dubai. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir, for inviting me. Continue, continue, Dr. Abhida. Okay, thank you. Now I call upon Dr. Preeti. Hello. Dr. Preeti is available. Yeah, Dr. Preeti Kamal Desai. Uh, she completed yeah. DHMS in 1990 and practiced pure homeopathy since then. And she's also done a training in ICR. So please take over Dr. Preeti because I think we are starting to run out of time. And we still have mm -hmm. one more participant, Dr. Shishma also. And if there's time, maybe I can give the introduction, but we'll see according to the time because we still have a Malayalam session following this. So let us do, I think by 6.30, the Malayalam session will start so we can try to finish it off. By that time, Dr. Preet, so very, 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 very less time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, all of you, and uh, very good evening. Uh, I am very thank thankful to IFPH for giving me this floor to share my thoughts. Uh, as you know, all of you, that uh, we are here very limited um, practice uh, opportunity. But still, I still I have uh, homeopathy in my blood. So always we are thinking uh, about the different different ways to practice. Today I have taken a, a topic of craving and aversion uh, with the underlying uh, dis disorders, also um, deficiencies. So I used to uh, do. Uh, during COVID time, I have done that um, I Institute of Functional Medicine in that chronic diseases where it is totally uh, naturopathic uh, course, means uh, food related, where they are considering food as a medicine. So uh, it helped me a lot. And uh, I combined that uh, knowledge with uh, our uh, homeopathy. So I selected one topic in that, that is craving and aversion. In that, uh, nowadays we know the so many um, 
unique craving we are having and uh, because of disorder underlying disorder or hormonal fluctuancy or some type of uh, deficiencies we get uh, uh, some physicals we just take that for our totality also to select a medicine and it, this is definitely help us for example if i say in repertory we are always uh, taking that stomach as a aversion uh, desire and appetite increase decrease so if i say if it is there is increase appetite then there is always a lack of bile salt also uh, it also relate to energy intake and expenditure so increase appetite is uh, always think for that lack of bile salt same way uh, nowadays we used to eat so much junk food and chocolate and sweet craving is so much so i have related that chocolate and cocoa coffee uh, to the low level of magnesium calcium and vitamin b1 same way if there is a fatty food uh, def, uh, desire for fatty food like cheese butter then there is always low fat soluble vitamins that's a d e k and also low production of bile sometimes we crave so much ice ice cream cold drinks this indicates iron and zinc deficiency so all these uh, of course our medicine always covers the those uh, uh, unique cravings and it balances our hormones and uh, metabolisms but if we start this all um, supplements or uh, minerals or electrolytes with our medicines by considering the underlying cause of why this specific craving is there it definitely uh, fastens our um, uh, course of uh, recovery so nowadays as we know that we have to help patient with the diet also because um there is a so much pesticide use uh, so much hormones are used to the animals given to the animals and plastic is used so there is so much external forces which is uh, also imbalancing our hormones and uh, enzymes uh, so it hampers our uh, reactions uh, equations in the balancing of our chemical reactions so i always uh, and one thing i have observed that we have a uh, 12 uh, tissue medicines well, like susler's tissue remedies which which needs more uh, more um, research so uh, we we need more uh, minerals to add in that uh, susler tissue where uh, we have all sodium potassium uh, ferrum silica but we don't have zinc copper cobalt selenium sulfur which also needed we should give it in trituration so it is our homeopathic supplements it will definitely help and we need more research on that i am tr really try to uh, 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 get more knowledge about that but i have got that um, result faster than uh, while using this for example uh, in a herpes cases uh, i have used it's a viral so antiviral uh, like uh, antiviral which is um, like zinc and garlic is antiviral so we, if we if we support with zinc then definitely the faster result is there for example in uh, psoriasis if we uh, give vitamin d that also gives us a very nice result and faster results uh, one of my case uh, of uh, fungal infection where ringworms are so full body he was having and he was suffering from long time since 3 4 month and he got so many medicines allopathic even but he did not get relief and i gave him elimination diet and anti allergic diet and it gave me a very fast result so i'm more and more interested to this subject of craving and aversion i will definitely like to talk more on this as uh, there is a sort of time so i am completing this but i am really thankful and grateful to ifps who has given me this uh, sharing my this thought 
on this. So please, everyone, please uh, think about this craving and aversion. Why it is, why the person is craving this and what is the underlying uh, deficiency related to that organ or related to that fluctuating hormones, which will definitely help us. Thank you. Thank you, doctor, for your thoughtful words and also such valuable information. Hopefully, inshallah, it's a really you can... short time. Yeah, I understand. So, Hopefully, you need to get uh, maybe uh, IFPH is a good platform. Uh, uh, I hope they'll be willing to give you uh, another separate day for your. Detail. Yeah, inshallah. Okay, so as we are running short of time, I quickly call upon Dr. Shishma Zaki. Dr. Shishma Mohammed Zaki, she's a uh, internal. Uh, uh, she's currently she's working as a internal auditor uh, kindly please wait uh, she, yeah she's working at al Wahda medical group as an internal quality auditor and uh, she has done her bhms mba hospital and healthcare management so dr shishma zaki please take over and share your thoughts soon Please unmute, Dr. Shishma. From your side, you can unmute. Hope you're able to unmute. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Doctor. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. You can speak to the audience here. Yeah. So my voice is clear now? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Okay. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm very happy to be on this platform. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the IFPH group for giving me this opportunity to speak on this wonderful platform. And uh, as doctor has given my introduction uh, already, so I'm working in Anvada Med Medical Group as a quality auditor and also in the infection control department. Uh, so right now, uh, I, I think it's very important for us in Qatar to discuss about the present status of homeopathy in Qatar. So for all those who are not in Qatar, first I would like to give an introduction about uh, uh, the present status of homeopathy in Qatar. So in 2016, uh, Qatar government had approved of complementary medication in which the homeopathy was included. But now it is 2023 and seven years down the line, we are not able to open up a single homeopathy clinic. You know, so this is a, this is a point to think about. So I just wanted to discuss about the hurdles, what we are facing. The first thing, do we, the first question, okay, do we need homeopathy here? Of course we do. For all homeopaths, we all know why we do and why do we need homeopathy over here. And for all the other people who are not homeopaths, there are many reasons why we need homeopathy here. But I have noted down four important points. Uh, the first one is, we need an integrated system of medicine. Holistic medicine is very important. It is the need of the hour. There are many, many diseases which the modern medication is unable to cure. So uh, integrated medicine and holistic medicine is really the need of the hour. The second point, there are many existing homeopathic patients in Qatar at present, many existing homeopathic patients, and they are not able to access in even a single licensed practitioner over, over here. Apart from the practitioner, they are not even able, uh, they don't even have access to medications here because not even a single pharmacy is allowed to dispense homeopathic medicines because it is not approved. The third point is there are many new patients who actually want homeopathy. And there are many queries which come to me, you know, but I'm not able to provide them with a single homeopathic practitioner who is licensed and not even the medication. And the fourth thing, the fourth point is very, very close to me. And I'm sure it is very, very close to all the homeopaths out here that there are so many talented, skillful and knowledgeable homeopaths who have you know, given five and a half years and plus five and a half years of their life to this beautiful science. And they're not able to practice and they are, you know, they are just waiting for a platform. So uh, coming to the point, you know, uh, the thing is that why are we not able to practice here? So most of us feel uh, because there are two, there are two points to it. First is licensing of the doctors, of the practitioners. And the second one is 
licensing of the facility. So like, for example, in India, if we are in India, so I, and there are many other countries uh, where in order to get our license, we need to practice, we need to show experience, we need to show our degrees, we need to get that verified, and then we will be granted with license. But in Qatar, the case is different. We need, the second step is, we need a facility, a medical center, which will approve, which will support us and under, under which facility we will practice. So unless and until you don't have a facility or a medical center or a hospital who will support you to practice, or who will, you know, apply for your license under them, you will not get your license. So I'm sure most of the homeopaths here have completed the first step. They have completed the data flow, but they are stuck up in the second step because they didn't find a facility who approved of homeopathy, who wanted a homeopathy clinic to be opened here. But let me tell you, you know, let me tell you that this is a wrong notion, you know, which we all have in our heads that there are no facilities willing to open up a homeopathy clinic. It is a very, very wrong notion. I'm working in a medical center and I'm handling eight centers across Qatar. So a lot of facilities would love to open homeopathy. I have approached those facilities. I have approached the medical centers. And, and in 2016, there was a healthcare center who was willing to open up homeopathy. And they were very happy about it. But my papers went under evaluation. I had no gap in practice that time. And my papers went under evaluation and there was only 5% you know, of the of process remaining, but it got stuck up because of the GCC blockade. The reason was not the facility noted down. The reason was not the facility. The reason was I was unable to procure medications. Okay, I tried my best. It was a challenge for me. I was uh, trying to get the medications from India, from Germany. And then finally we settled down on Dubai, okay. And then, find, and then because of the GCC blockade, I was unable to procure the medication because this department in Qatar is separate. The licensing department for the practitioner is separate. First, you get your documents verified. First, you get your experience verified. The second thing is the facility should also be licensed in that scope of practice. The facility should apply. And this is a completely different department. So rather than searching for facilities who want to open up homeopathy clinic, the need of the R is we need to change this, you know, this way of thinking. The need of the R is we need to search ways to get medications approved. Each single medicine which comes in Qatar should be approved. So, you know, I'm just requesting many people out here who are in touch with local pharmacies or pharmaceutical companies or the drug department over here or even in Dubai and who can guide us, you know, how we can get each and every medicine registered. I'm very much sure the moment many of the medicines are registered over here, are approved over here, many facilities will open for homeopathy clinics. And to those homeopaths who have a gap in the practice now, who think they cannot practice again because they have a gap, please, please don't lose hope. Because the moment even one facility will open, you can work under supervision for some time, for one, one year or two years, depending on what QCHP has specified. They specify a time, you know, if you work under supervision for that time, you can get your license. So we need to work on procurement of medications. This is the need of the R. And we need to work together on this. Seven years and I'm not able to procure medications. And I really, uh, I really uh, want you, uh, I want that uh, please, if you have any contacts, please do come forward. Please show us a way where we can procure medications and how we can do this, how, how we can do the process. And people in UAE, they can help us with this process. And like that, that's it, like, you know, and I just, I just want to tell the last thing, like, you know, it's a very simple line, you know, where there's a way, there is a will. And if we have a will, definitely there will be a way. And we shouldn't take this as an obstacle, you know. We all are taking all these things as obstacles. We should take this as an opportunity. We are the lucky ones, you know. We will lay the foundation of homeopathy here. So we are the lucky ones if if we work together. You know, no, not a single person can do it. We need to work together. So that is very important. Coordination and follow-ups and regular meetups is very important. We can take baby steps, you know, but we need to move forward. Oh, seven years and we are still there. So we need to move forward with this. So I hope with this, uh, I hope with this, uh, uh, we'll get help from uh, from people out here and knowledgeable people out here. And thanks a lot for this time, for this opportunity.
Thank you, Dr. Shishma, for your very relevant points, which are required while you know thinking about practicing in Uttar and regarding the condition of how homeopaths and home lovers and homeopaths patients are going on here and what we are facing here in Qatar. Thanks a lot. Actually, Thank we you, have, <laughs> Actually, we have crossed the limit a little bit. Uh, but still, Yeah, I spoke very <laughs> fast, you know, because of yeah, that. Yeah, I understand. And I thanks. Uh, I thank to IFPH organizers for granting us some extra time. And sorry to the Malayalam session people for waiting for, uh, you know, still extra time when we took over. Thanks no, no. a lot. <laughs> and why, thank why, you. why is the difficulty in promoting a medicine there? What is the reason? Shishma? Yes, you don't yes, know the exact thing. Um, the exact? Uh, uh, medicine is not coming there, no? Why? Because there is nobody who is getting it approved. Like the, there is a no, process. No, 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 each, you yeah. are mistaken. You are mistaken. I have came there two, two times and talked to the, all the authorities. Well, I'm not sure. And, uh, and uh, the, our, our um, uh, other mm. doctors in the Olympic thing, they also know. Because they are, we are putting the fees for 100 riyals for every medicine to register. The, Qatar is a very small country, no? Very small country. Yes, yes. So don't yes. compare with the UAE. Don't compare with the UAE. They, they are charging 100 rupees for a registration of one medicine. That's good. Um, okay. Uh, but here, here, how, how okay. will somebody will uh, import the medicine by spending 100,000 for 300 medicines? For 100,000. Uh, oh. no? Nobody is interested. And uh, other way, the supposed it is uh, getting the chances mm -hmm. of anything. You people mm -hmm. getting medicine from your country and keeping it inside your vessel and serving it. That's also that's, that's wrong. You should obey the country, um, uh, country's uh, limitation and everything. So you should ask the authorities to reduce the price. For hundred mm -hmm. um, instead of hundred term, ten term per medicine, so that even I can I can uh, import the medicine there, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. all right. Oh, uh, so this is anyway. Uh... Next month I am coming. You help okay. me. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Suppose yeah. you are having any good chance to yeah. the authority. Yeah, definitely, okay. doctor. Like I can just share. Uh, please, uh, do, uh, doctor Abda, share the contact with me so that yes, we can work yeah, together. Yeah, I'll, this, yeah, you know? I'll do it to you personally. I'll be very, very happy uh, to yeah, sure. uh, help you yeah. out in this. And we're waiting for sir to come, and you hope we can uh, bring about some changes here and quick movements for the progress of homeopathy here. And okay. now I call yes. upon uh, uh, Mr. Ab Abdus Salam PV, uh, IFPH representative of Qatar, for giving the vote of thanks. Mr. Abdusalam, please. Thank you, Abida. Now our time is very light. The program Malayalam will start now. Okay, dear homeopathy lovers and doctors, and all the well wishes of IFPH, along with prayers for all your success, I express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you on behalf of IFPH Qatar. Thank you. Good. Thank so you, Mr. Thank you, you and please, now uh, I hand over to the hand over the session to Dr. Shaji. No, national anthem. No national anthem. Yeah. National anthem is there? Is there a time, Dr. Shaji? Should I play the national anthem now? Or how okay, is it okay, for the please. Malayalam session? No problem. If it's yes, okay yes, for you, uh, that's how? better. No problem. National anthem. Qatar national anthem is there. Yes, yes. Qatar national anthem is there. Yes, yeah, yeah, here, here. Yes, 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 Very fine. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, go with yes, the, I have our it. Country. Yeah, I have it. Qatar National Handam. Oh, I'll oh. share it with you. Yeah. Please. Shut up. 
Thank you all and thank you for IFPH. Okay. Special mention, uh, thanks to Master Rajwad Afsil for in between all his school schedules, he has helped me a lot with the technical support. Uh, and I hand over the session to the Malayalam uh, session people. And uh, that's all I have from thank you. Thank, thank you, Dr. Abida, for the nice presentation and moderation. And okay. all those who participated today, this is a 